Good afternoon. It is Tuesday, the 5th of January 2021. Happy New Year. I'm Amanda Fowler. This is the Inspiring Lincoln Facebook page. If you are here, could you say hello? Send me some hearts so I know that not only are we in the right place, but you're here too. And I am just... <laughs> I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm not live. Let's see. Looks like I am. Looks like I am. My phone is all a bit wobbly though. Let's see if that's a bit straighter. Let's have a look. That looks a bit better. That looks a bit better. Let me just move that. <laughs> so how are we? Happy New Year, Happy New Year, Happy New Year. Let's see who is here. I'm just going to use my cardigan to dry up the peppermint tea I've just spilled on my desk because that'll be a disaster later. <laughs> That's what you do. When you didn't bring tissues with you. There we go. Right. Okay. So, goodness me. How are we doing? Um, I decided this might be a long, a long live. So I brought a pot of peppermint tea with me. How are we doing? How are we feeling? What a difference a week makes. What a difference a week makes. Um, yeah, so we've had the start of a brand new year. And here in the UK, we are back in lockdown. Lock, lockdown 3.0, I think we're calling it. Lockdown 3. I'm sending you hugs. Hugs if you need them. Um, I know... This is going to make life very difficult for a lot of people. Um, so yeah, sending all the hugs. For those of you that are having to shield again now, um, I'm so sorry that that's, that's happening. And for those of you who are still working and frontline staff and teachers and parents and actually everyone, um it's gonna be a tough couple of months but we've done it before we'll be able to do it again um just know if if you want to chat send me send me a message send me an email give me a call um i am here i'm not going anywhere um because you know it says stay at home i'm staying here <laughs> um so, I'm just sending kind of all the hugs, really. So, let's have a look. I'm gonna, gonna read. So my, my iPad stand um, has been washed today. So I've kind of got it propped up, but I need it closer so I can read. So Lisa's here, Michelle's here, Sue's here, Amanda's here, Jan's here, Christine's here, Maureen's here, Janet and Jen and Roz and Judith and Anne and Jackie and Christine. Wow, and Christine, two Christines, and Sarah's here and Claire's here and Marion's here and my mum's here. Hello. Wow, you're all in the house today. You are all in the house. That is very cool. That is very cool. Okay, so what have I got to talk to you about today? Well, I thought we'd probably not talk about all being locked down again. <laughs> That's what I thought we wouldn't talk about because, you know, we know that's happened. So um, I thought we'd talk about all the new products, lots of things, We've got lots of crafting to be getting on with. Um, lots of launches, lots of information, and all sorts of stuff really. Um, so I will get on to all of the products and all of that 
shortly. Um, but I thought I would start out with something that Jen asked the other day. And I've got a piece of paper somewhere here. Hmm? Which was, how do you store stamps and dies? Um, so she was asking for storage ideas for stamps and dies. And I know you guys have all, I've got all sorts of different ways of storing things. So please put them in the comments. Um, I just, Jen, I just keep them in the cases that they come. So, um, I keep my dies in these and I keep my stamps in my stamp cases. Um, th the main reason for that is so that, um, for me, I've easily got the item number and the name and that kind of stuff. And that's obviously from a business point of view, it just, it makes it easier. Um, but I know a lot of people do lots of different things. So one thing that I have seen is when a, there's a die set that goes with stamps, people put a piece of magnetic sheet here on the inside and then stick all the dies in there that coordinate with the stamps. So then you're halving your storage and also the dies that are relevant to those stamps are always together. So that's that's one way, but I'm sure everyone else has got lots of other ways um, to, to do that. And if you, if, I don't know whether you can add pictures on a live. I'm not sure. If you can't, then um, if you've got pictures, if you could put them in the Inspiring Inking Crafting Corner group um, and just sort of tag it um, stamp and die storage ideas, that would be really cool because we all love to see somebody else's craft room, don't we? It's good, it's good. So there we go. So that is a question from Jen. If you've got any burning questions or things that you would like to see me make or show you, or if you've bought something and you don't know what to do with it, then send me a message, send me an email, send me a picture and I will see what I can do and see if I can share with everyone else um, the things that you want to see. So, uh, what else do I need to say? So, my microphone's in, my camera's in. I'm assuming you can see and hear me clearly. Do let me know if at any point the sound or the picture goes wonky. You know, sometimes we end up with technical issues and it really helps me if I know um, that something's going on. So let's have a look. So mum is saying afternoon and Diana's here and Scylla's here and Lynn's here and Julia's here and Pat's here and Gloria's here and Diane's here and Alison's here. Yay, Mariette is here. <laughs> Jen, you are very welcome. So Roz is saying her stamps are stored in their cases on a floor to ceiling CD racks and then she stores the dies in storage boxes if they don't fit in the stamp cases. Christine's saying that um, she's storing them in a DVD rack. Rosie's here. Oh, Alison's saying that she sticks her matching dies inside the case. Um, and you can see and hear me clearly. Brilliant. And Sandra's here as well. Okay. Can I ask you pretty please to share this live video? Um, there should be a little arrow with a share button. Um, it just means that I get to reach other crafters um, around the world and um, just means that I get to reach more people and I would really appreciate that. And what happens is it shares it on your Facebook timeline. So it just then means um, that your friends get to see me as well. Awesome. <laughs> Kerry 
Lily isn't here at all because she's supposed to be at work. <laughs> but she says she might, she just sneaked in. Oh no, Marion's here with her cat, who's trying to walk all over the keyboard. Stella's here. Chris is here and Angela's here as well. Awesome. Wow, yeah, we, we're busy house today. Busy, busy. So, how many of you are spring cleaners? Now, now we're into January. Who does spring cleaning? See, that, it's always a name that always amuses me because spring actually isn't really till April. March, April time, is it really? We're still in winter. But I know a lot of people do a lot of spring cleaning at this time of year. Um, I tend to do a really deeper clean before Christmas when I put all the ornaments up and the stuff on the, yeah, everywhere. So, <laughs> because I'm kind of looking at those spaces and I notice things, things that perhaps I wouldn't necessarily notice the rest of the year yeah one day I will have somebody who comes and cleans my house that would be that would be amazing but um but yeah so I I tend to do it kind of at the tail end of the year as opposed to the beginning of the year so I've kind of done mine so do you do that who does that Christine is saying she's been doing it all year. Um, Lynn's saying she's a spring cleaner, but at certain times she does other things as well. Marion cleans as her jobs and she doesn't like to bring her home, her work home with her. Oh, that's a very good plan. Kerry does hers when all her decorations come down and then not again till dot dot dot. Yeah, exactly. Oh, that's one of the jobs I love to do, Pat. So Pat has spent three days emptying the kitchen cupboards and getting rid of the that could be useful items that haven't seen the light of day for years. Yeah, yeah, I, we have, we have quite a few of those too. Both, both Brian and I are squirrels. Um, we squirrel things away because they might be useful. And, and that kind of works fine in the garage because he can, he can mend pretty much anything or with something he found in the garage. He's just that clever. But in the house, in the kitchen particularly, there's lots of stuff that does, just doesn't get used. And then there's things that just get used once a year. So I can't get rid of those. Like my reindeer plates. <laughs> and they didn't get used this year. So normally um, Christmas Eve we have uh, friends and neighbours and family around on Christmas Eve. And... Obviously, there's lots of food because you guys know I love food and I get my reindeer plates out and my Father Christmas plates. They didn't even get out the cupboard this year. So we might have to have two gatherings at Christmas next year. No, this year. This year, 2021, so that the reindeer plates and the Father Christmas plates get, a, get an outing. Kerry's been doing that as well. She's filled two bin liners. Roz is the same as me. She does it before the Christmas decorations are out. And then she starts clearing out again before Easter and again in the summer. Perpetual. Perpetual doing. Brilliant. Awesome. See, that's interesting. We, we like to know, don't we? It's good. Right. So I'm going to have a slurp of my tea and then I'm going to ask you,
because you should have all had your mini catalogue and your celebration catalogue by now. So what is your favourite stamp set or paper or die or your favourite thing from the mini catalogue? Let me know. And, um, and then I'm going to show you some new stuff. <laughs> Marion saying that she likes my cup. Got two Marions as well, two Marions today. Yeah, it's got cac cactus, cacti, cacti on it. Right. Okay, so let's. Oh no, Julia's not got hers yet. Let's have a look. So, Marion saying the snail set. Lynn saying the seashells. Christine saying darling donkeys. Ros is loving my background shelving. So Ros, this is my new studio. So this was Connor's room. It's now my studio. Um, so yeah, so I'm filming upstairs. And this is an old unit that we had in our spare room that I have um, commandeered. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, Lisa's saying back to back blooms. That's really cool. I'll talk about that. Typically the one that Claire wants, she needs to spend £90. Yep, that's a good set. Um... Pat saying the well suited. Marion has lots of favourites. Might have to join your team. Yes, Marion, you need to do that. You need to do that. Um, I will talk about that in a minute. Love, stand and see. Oh, Donna is waiting for her demonstrator to send you one out. I'm sorry, Donna. Um, that's sad. Um, you're in Oz, aren't you? Um send her a message um because I, <laughs> I can't send you one unfortunately donkeys and hydrangea sets dragonfly and kangaroo um the black celebration paper says christine christine's also a different christine saying too many favorites jen saying dandy garden hydrangea and woodland wonder and Circle Celebration, Artistry, and many more. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So Heat and Stick Powder is back. Oh, we're going to see that tomorrow. Tomorrow, we are going to go full on glitz and glam. We're going to have a lot of fun tomorrow. It's going to be messy. <laughs> okay, so I'm, gonna, so I'm saving that till tomorrow. I thought I would break you in gently today. So... Um, okay, so here you go. So this is the mini catalogue, which um, most of you have got. Um, actually, I'm just writing myself a note. Julia, I will um, just double check and make sure, you know, that the, there isn't a reason why it's not gone. Um, yeah, I will. I will double check that. If it's not arrived by the end of the week though, Julia, let me know. Um, I'm going to be sending out the email when I finish here. It's been a bit of a crazy day. Catalogue launch day is always bonkers. But um, I'll send out an email with a PDF link. So at least you'll be able to look at it online. So that'll be fine. Um, seashells and Amanda's joining again. Whoop! <laughs> yeah you see it's the best deal I I say this every year I don't know why I have customers I think you should all join you all need to join Angela likes enjoy the moment and uh, Chris says she likes floating and fluttering brilliant okay awesome right so let's let's talk so it's another catalogue the wrong way round 
<laughs> I want it to be this way round, but stamping up is doing it this way round. It's just really wide. You need to rest it on the table to look at it. Um, it is amazing. So I think Lynn said about sand and sea. Look at this. It is stunning. If I put that sort of close up. The embossing folder and the dies and oh, it is amazing. So there are <laughs> there are too many things in this book to show you them all and there are too many things that I want and I like and I love as well so um what I am going to do is today concentrate on this book and this book oh might help if I opened it to the right page this book and this is celebration and what is celebration? I hear you ask because not everybody has been around with me forever and you might not know what celebration is and this year it's different so if you think that you know then it's a little bit different so celebration is a promotion that Stamping Up runs this year and this is the difference this year it runs from today, 5th of January, to the last day of February, so till the 28th of February, so it's only two months. Previous years it's been three. There's only two months this time. And if you spend £45, you can choose a level one item for free. And that goes in multiples. So you spend £90, you can have two, 135 you can have three, 180 you can have four, and so on, and so on, and so on. We also have level two sets. There is a level two uh, stamp set, and there's a level two stamp set with a paper pack, and I'll show you those as well in a minute when I turn the camera around, because I'll show you all of the things that I have to, to show you. It's brilliant. It's a brilliant promotion. The papers and the stamps are amazing. They're really, really lovely. And they do include donkeys. I think it was Christine that said that she, the darling donkeys are a must. Um, I adore the papers as well. So um, there's, yeah, there's lots of things that are really, really good. Now, so that's the first part of celebration. So that is kind of, if you um, buy things, you get rewarded. If you buy lots and lots and lots of things, you can also get a additional stamp set. So if you gather some friends orders or you have uh, decided to uh, spend, do, 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 what is it? 275 pounds which is a host level reward you actually can earn that stamp set for free now obviously right now we are not going to be hosting parties as most certainly not in the UK that's not going to be happening um, but you can gather your friends orders together um, and put them through I can put group orders through as well so um, if that's something that you want to do um, you can do that and you know Santa might have been very kind to you and you can uh, place a, a large order if so that's the second way so that's a host reward and then the third way that's stamping up and I'm going to reward you is joining my team now I say this all the time I said it not 10 minutes ago I don't understand why I have customers I think you should all join my team you get a minimum of a 20% discount on all your purchases whilst you're a demonstrator you get to uh, see all of the products first 
usually six weeks or so before anyone else and you can order them early as well. You get to hang out with me and my team and I might be biased but I have the best team here in Europe. Um, we are an amazing group and um, friendly crafters, it's, it's really good. We also have um, online team training and for those of you that join in with Craft Along, it is a very similar type of um, event to Craft Along, so my team can join in with that too. When we get out of the world that we are in, I have a Saturday all day trainings um, here in Hampshire and also I have events just for my direct team as well and we do those virtually but we also do them in person as well if people can, can travel to me. So that is just kind of the, the very tip of the iceberg of joining. You can build a business, you can um, work towards incentives and additional rewards, you can also come to a stamping up event as well um, and again they're virtual at the moment but they will be going back um, to in-person events as well. Now in order to join my team you have to sign up to be a demonstrator. Um, you have a, a uh, contract to sign, you have to read that and make sure that you know you, you're happy with that. You then select £130 worth of products at um, catalogue price, retail price, or if you're in Europe, that's €175. Euros. You pay £99 or €129, Euros, depending on whether you're in the UK or France, Germany, Austria or the Netherlands. I'm afraid people outside of those countries can't join my team. If you are outside of those countries and you are thinking about joining, do send me a message. I am truly blessed with demonstrator friends around the world and I'll be able to put you in touch with uh, somebody who can help you um, sign you up. Now, the £130 worth of products you can pick from the annual catalogue or the new mini catalogue and in addition to that you will receive five packs of paper. Now in the celebration book it actually says six, it was a misprint, it's actually five and the paper packs are brand new designs. So at the moment, in the annual catalogue, we've got designer paper packs and they're six by six and there is one for each of the two sets of ink colours and then there are four, one for subtles, regals, neutrals and brights. So these, huh, start again, what you get when you join is the brand new patterns that aren't launching until May with the new catalogue and these are the patterns so that's one pattern so they're double sided so you've got like the dots on a string and like a tile pattern and then this is the other pattern which is like a tartan and again another sort of tile type pattern, a bit like a flower or a fleur de lis, um, but really, really pretty. So you actually get five stacks of paper. Um, the in colour one is 40 sheets and the others are 48 sheets. I haven't added up how many packs of paper, but that's five packs like that. Adds a lot of paper um, and it's brilliant because then you've got paper to go with every single colour in the catalogue which is awesome. Um, there are minimums 
to reach minimum sales requirements to reach um, but your first minimum sales requirement of 300 CSV is June. So if you are looking at the mini catalogue and your wish list is over £100, please consider joining my team. You'll get a huge discount on that first order. You'll get discounts on the rest of your orders as you move forwards. You can test drive it. You can see if it is as good as I say it is. There's nothing to pay back or if you uh, want to finish as, as a demonstrator, there's nothing, you know, the, there's no penalties. And, you know, it is the best job. Seriously, the best job. So, do consider it. Okay, so let's have a look. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Seashells. Right, so Marlene's here, <laughs> but she's logged in as James. So hello, Marlene. Do I do Zoom parties, uh, Christine? No, not at the moment. I do, um, we, we had Zoom, we had Zoom Christmas parties um, and I will be doing more on Zoom, but not at the moment. Right, okay. So, um, shall we look at some new stuff? It's exciting. Okay, so in the celebration catalogue, there are three paper packs so I'm going to show you those first so if if you want to play along you can <laughs> you can look in the celebration catalog so this is the first one which is on page three and it's called paper blooms and it coordinates with the stamp set and die set that I'm going to show you in a few minutes. So that's what uh, the paper pack looks like that I'm going to show you in real life. So it's a 12 by 12 pack and uh, there are six double sided sheets. So, ooh. so you've got this one. This on. So the colours in this are Knight of Navy, Rococo Rose, Soft Sea Foam, Petal Pink, and I'm not sure what else. Hang on, I will tell you. I'm not sure what is the pale blue actually. Seaside spray. How come I didn't know that it was seaside spray? Uh, that is so cool. Ooh, there you go. That's the last one. Okay. So I'm actually going to show you that again in a minute because it coordinates with the dies and the stamps that I'm going to show you later. Um, then the next paper to show you is the Oh So Ombre and it's just super cool. Okay, so there are four colours in this. It is Bermuda Bay, Blackberry Bliss, Granny Apple Green and Rococo Rose. And they are double sided, the same pattern but different colours. I know it makes my brain hurt when I look at this. Okay, so that's one 
set. So it's blackberry bliss on that side, granny apple green on that side. So that's the dots. But then there is also an ombre. So again, blackberry bliss, granny apple green. And that's just like a plain sheet. And I'm hoping you can see this ombre is from the point across like that. So that's that one. And then you've got the other colourway, which is Bermuda Bay and Rococo Rose. So that's the plain one. And then this. It's a spotty one. So again, lovely. They are really, really nice. And you get 48 sheets in that. So that's very cool. So that's another paper pack. And then, do, 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 on page 10, there is Flower and Field. And this is a 12 by 12 pack again. So this is, you get 12 sheets. So that is uh, the first one. This is the second one. I love these spots. And so you've got a black base with this which is quite unusual um, but really stylish so we've got more spots I like my spots this one's really cool really lovely daisies the daisies have got a tiny bit of blue on them and then these ones And then these ones. So really, really pretty papers. And again, none of these papers can be purchased. These are all free with a £45 spend. Right, I'll put that under there. So in um, the other the other things um, that I've got to show you. You saw this last week. This is one of the stamp sets called Corner Bouquet. Um, and I used that with the blending brushes last week. Again, that's a free stamp set. And that one is um, a red rubber stamp set. And then this one is going to be, it's going to be around a lot and used a lot because it's very cute. Um, Darling Donkeys, um, really lovely and you know your donkeys can be any colour, of course you can make them nice and grey but you know I'm thinking purple donkeys, blue donkeys, <laughs> donkeys pretending to be unicorns, yeah so you're going to be seeing quite a lot of that one as well so that is free as well. So let's see, so that's the donkeys, um, there's another stamp set here which I don't have, I don't have everything, um, that one, what's it called, it's called Approaching Perfection, it's got um, some really lovely candles and things, um, some nice sentiments, so that's really cool. The ombre paper you have seen. There is another stamp set here called Heal Your Heart. Um, it's got some really lovely things in it like oh, we're in this together. It's also got so sorry for your loss and um, I do think um, a condolence sentiment is always a really good thing to have. Um, 
it's very lovely and there's a really lovely thank you as well there the flower of field designer series paper you have seen this um i didn't bring this up with me actually i do have it this is what claire was talking about i think actually i'm guessing claire is this is this this the one that you said it's called a touch of ink It is amazing and um, it's two step stamping so you've got like the detailed image and then you've got the watercolour effect image. Um, these stamps on the front of the case are 65% of the size of them so they are much bigger than you think they are. Does that make sense? <laughs> yes Claire said yes that's hers um, and then this is the other 90 pound set which is a double set so it's a stamp set and a paper pack which also go with the sweet strawberry stamp set and punch so that is really really lovely as well now one of the one of the things that I always get asked is, okay, Amanda, I'm sold. I've got my wish list of over a hundred pounds. I'm going to join your team, but I want that touch. What's it called? Touch of touch of ink stamp set. Can I have that? And the answer is no. And I know it's going to make you sad. So if you join. You get £31 worth of product that you choose for free and over £50 worth of papers for free. So Stampin' Up! aren't going to give you a celebration set as well, I'm afraid. They're not going to do that. So if, if you want those celebration sets, you have to place an order or join and then place an order with your discount later on because you've still got till the end of February to run with celebration. Um, just so that you know, there is going to be a second celebration this year. It's going to be July and August. Different products to what's here. Um, so, and I, that's as much as I know. I don't know anything more, but a second celebration. So does anyone have any questions about that, about celebration, what's happening? Anyone else want to join my team? Because I'd love you to. I'll send you information. Or we can have a chat on the phone. Um, okay, so I did in my uh, letter that I sent out, send out information to say, if you love the stamp set, which is called Birthday Chick, Hey Birthday Chick, don't buy it today. Okay, so I'm gonna explain about that as well, because that is important. So it's this stamp set here. So the reason I don't want you to buy this right now is because on the 2nd of February there is going to be some more bundles coming out. So this is what's going to come out um, hopefully I'll hold it so you can see it. So there is Hey Birthday Chick bundle so that's the stamp set that's in the catalogue plus these dies here so you'll be able to buy it as a bundle these dies aren't actually in the um mini catalog and then there's a re-release of this stamp set which is called hey chick which was a celebration set about two or three years ago so some of you may still have it in your stash but then there is another die set here now um what i'm going to do is just try and bring that in a bit closer so with the hay chick with the dies 
there is a little chicken coop there's some chicken wire there's dies to cut out the chickens there's a um, post sign there's a um, tree stump and some corn and then on this die set there is a fence a happy birthday again dies to cut out the chickens and a, a chick and a happy birthday and a sack of grain or or flour or whatever you could make a farmyard and have amazing stuff for to to do that now you can if you're joining because this is a pre-order you can put these in your um joining bundle if you like so um if if that's something that you want to do i can send you the item codes and you can put those in so do send me a message and I'll do that for you. But for everyone else, they are going to be available the 2nd of February. And they're going to run all the way through to the end of June. So um, that's really good. And then the last thing before I start crafting. And I promise I am going to craft today. I did tell you I'd be talking a lot. Um, I've forgotten. <gasps> no, I haven't forgotten. I've remembered. The mini boss is now available so the stamping cut and emboss machine has been available since beginning uh since december mm, i don't know whenever it came but the mini boss is available now it's 54 pounds again you can add it into your um starter kit if you want to um, do that also obviously because it's 54 pounds you would get a celebration set if you pop that into uh, your basket um, okay so Amanda's saying she loves the strawberries and has this size stayed the same for the hay chick she's already got the stamp set yes yeah it is it's the set it's a, just a re-release so the dies will fit yes Ros and Amanda are both saying can they just get the dies yes you can the dies are oh I'm saying yes hmm okay hold fire just a second I am going to go to <laughs> Stampin' Up! website because I actually don't know the answer to the question. So the question is, can we buy the dies separately? Um, and I'm not sure because on that printout it's only got bundles so let me check because I don't want to give you the wrong information yes <laughs> yes you can okay so the dies on their own are 30 pounds for the hay chick stamp set and for the birthday chick are 25 there you go thank you for asking the question okay right I'm going to slurp my peppermint tea, move my things about, and then we're going to do some crafting. I've got a couple of nice, simple cards.
to, <laughs> to break us in gently in the new year. Um, I haven't actually done any crafting since before Christmas. Oh no, apart from last week. <laughs> yeah, apart from at the craft along last week. Yeah, so I haven't done any crafting for a week. That's not, not very um, long ago, is it really? Yeah, brilliant. Okay, so Lynn's just done it on pre-order. Awesome. Okay, right, I'm going to cover you over and flip you around so you won't get seasick. So let's just, ooh, do that. Move that. See, oh, move that out of the way. Move that. So, do, 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 do. Right, so Lisa said this was her favourite set, which is the back-to-back -back blooms. Um, and you might not have seen this. This is really cool. So these are reversible stamps. So um, you can use the detailed part of it or flip it over and use the back and um, you get like a watercolour wash. They're not designed to be perfectly symmetrical, um, but it just works really beautifully and you've got lots of um, really lovely imagery there. This is the true size of it. These ones here are 60% of the, the sizes. And um, this is something that may have passed you by which is the double oval punch. Um, this is, is very exciting. So it's, um, you've got a sentiment and a uh, border. I think Pat was talking about this set, which is well suited. Um, okay, right, so I am going to be showing you this set and the matching dies. Now this is called In Bloom and if you're playing along you will find it on doo -doo -doo, page 45. And I want to show you the dies because they are amazing. So, <laughs> here are the dies. There are 25 dies. So, there are quite a few singles, but also some doubles as well. So, I'm just going to kind of even them out, even them out, kind of separate them out, look. So, you've got leaves, you've got a label or a sentiment, you've got lots of flowers, so these are all flowers. You've also got flower centres and then you've got a stem and a bow. And they are all stitched and I have already cut some but I often buy just dies. Um, sometimes I, I don't always buy the stamps as well and sometimes I buy the stamps and I don't buy the dies. Um, but this is 
an incredible die set. So look. And this is this is one of the things I do. So um just so that you can kind of <laughs> maybe get into Amanda's brain. <laughs> which is probably a slightly dodgy thing to do but um, I get the colours that I'm working with and I cut lots and lots of different elements I mean look at that and the bow and that beautiful flower and then you can you can pop a little flower centre in or you can get a bigger flower. They are just amazing. So there's so much texture and so on in them. So I'm going to just pop them all in there because I'm going to be using those in a minute. And this is the stamps. So very similarly to the back to back stamps that um, I showed you a minute ago these are solid images so again you are um, able to stamp these and stamp them on top of one another or use the dies to cut them out and they're also the dies will also cut out some of the papers now I haven't actually started playing with this with this yet um, so I don't know which ones work with which my guess though is that this die will definitely cut out that To do, I'm rootling in my thing, so that will cut out that. These ones will get cut out as well. Potentially, that will cut out those. You've got some of these elements that will cut out. Ooh. These are designed so, for instance, if you put that die on there you would then get like the watercolour wash effect yeah like that that's how that's designed Do -do -do. let's see it's probably all of it and then this one again so you will have elements of this that can be die cut as well very cool very cool so you might be wondering which colors I'm using so in my little pot I have got Rococo Rose this is petal pink soft sea foam Knight of Navy and a whisper white. All right, I'm just going to put these dies away before I lose them. And I've got some other layers and some card. So I thought we would do a, just a couple of really, like I said, gentle cards <laughs> gentle cards to get us back into the swing of things so i've got um this gorgeous ribbon as well so this is the scalloped linen ribbon again this is a rococo rose so we're gonna have a little bit of that as well
do, do, do. What shall we do today? Right, need some flowers and some leaves. And this, so actually you can't see, let me just bring my bowl in. So all I'm, literally all I'm doing is just rummaging in the bowl. And this, it is such, an, such a quick way of working out how, um, how you want things to look. And I have realised I've come upstairs without my rhinestones. So I don't want you to worry because that's going to go on there like that. Um, I will <laughs> put rhinestones on these. And in fact, actually, i tell you what I will put on them. So when you see the finished samples, I will put, where is sand and sea? I will put these on. So these are called opal rounds. And they are pearlized. They look like pearls, but they're clear. So it is really cool. Really, really lovely. Um, Karen, I don't know the answer to that question off the top of my head. Um, what's the width of the mini boss plate? Um, if any of my awesome team that are here have got one, if you could measure the width, that would be really awesome. If not, um, Karen, I will put it in the comments uh, later. Okay, so let's just let's just see what we can do. So I'm going to put that there and that there. I need. Ooh. No, I'm going to pop that one down, I think. There we go. So what I'm actually going to do is cut this one down a bit. It's this is a tiny bit too big. So I am just going to trim this down. And I know when we've got a die, you want to kind of use it as the die, but sometimes it just doesn't quite fit what you want it to do. So just take your scissors to it. Trim that half a tiny bit. Do, do, do. There we go. Hmm. I don't like that. <laughs> See, it's not, it's not what I wanted. So we're going to go in reverse. So let's go this way. You see, sometimes it doesn't work the way you want it to. We're going to go that way instead. Right. And more leaves. Okay. So I am going to stamp on the sentiment. And actually, I am going to use this one and I'm going to use my thank you um I need a lot of thank you cards 
I got so many Christmas cards and gifts this year. It was wonderful and I am truly grateful. Just stamp that there. Um, but I definitely, definitely need thank you cards. So I'm going to be making a lot of thank you cards over the next couple of days. So let's move that there. And I'm going to use my stamp and seal plus to put my ribbon down. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run a little bit here in the center. Like so, and then put a little bit on the reverse. And then just trim off the excess. Okay, just so it's nice and tight and nice and flat as well. Let's get some dimensionals. Which are behind my iPad. of a thank you okay so Lynn and Karen have answered the call thank you my awesome team um, it is three and a half inches or 9.7 centimeters is the width of the plate for the mini boss So we've got the thank you. I've got my glue dot. Go there. Go there. All right, so I'm going to be putting one up here and this one down at the bottom so that one needs a dimensional and that one needs a couple of dimensionals so what I'm doing with this one is I'm just putting dimensionals on two of the petals because this part of it is going to rest here so the this sentiment piece is actually going to keep it lifted and then let's see I think I'll pop that one in there Second one there. And then look at these. Oh, Sarah, um, peaceful moments. <laughs> yeah, I use this all the time. Oh, thanks, Jen. No, thanks Jan. Sorry. Thanks Jan. Right. So, just pop this one. Just, ooh, in there. Go on. Go, 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 go. Okay, so let's layer that up. She says, where are my, there he is, there's my Tombow. Look at, look at the mess. 
Look at the mess all over. There we go. And just even that up. Okay, so there you go. So there is one card. Um, I'm just now looking for the pin to pin my ribbon. Um, I don't know whether I've ever shown you this, guys, before, but um, I use these um, glass topped or ball topped um, pins and I stab it into my ribbon and just it stops it unraveling over the years I've tried all sorts of things I've used washi tape and sellotape I've cut kind of slots in to put things in but nothing seems to work as well as using a pin um so yeah so that's how I that's what I do there Okay, so that's that's one card. Apart from the sentiment, there is no stamping on that card. It's just using all of these beautiful, beautiful uh, die cut pieces. So for my second card, I am actually gonna do some stamping. And what we're going to do, find the right size of card first. They're all too big. That's the one I want. So I am going to stamp all over this with a variety of images. So let's get these out. So what I will do first is I'll stamp them all so you can see them so these are these are brand new stamps as you saw I literally have just taken the top um, acetate off them so the first thing that I want to say to you is be aware that when you first get your stamps whether they're red rubber or photopolymer they may well still have a little bit of residue on them from where they've been manufactured. So you don't always get perfect um, stamped images the first couple of times. So let's just ink this up and we will see. Okay. And it also depends on whether or not you've got a super juicy ink pad. Okay. So with photopolymer stamps, always, always, always leave them for a second or two. Let's just... There you go. So can you see from the first, the second, the third, it's actually the coverage is getting better each time. So let's just do that one. There we go. Okay, so that's one of the bigger stamps. Let's just play with one of the little ones because I want to put those, these little dots look. So those little dots will work as flower centers, but they will also work brilliantly as a little background. So you've got two like that so you've got bigger dots um you've got so many different flowers it's really cool okay so let me just stamp these different flowers because there's so many different ones Oh, I 
found more dots. Okay, so you've got little dots, slightly bigger dots, even bigger dots for the centres of flowers. So that's the three smallest flowers. Then you've got this one. Then this one. And then that one. Oh, I didn't ink that up properly. Hopefully you will forgive me that. So that's that one. And then, oh, not that one. And the even bigger one. Blimey. So how many is that? nine so nine um different flowers and obviously these can kind of layer one on top of the other then let me just show you these dots so that's one type of dot this is another type of dot and then you've got these dots as well And then obviously you can do things like put flowers inside flowers. So let me just do that one. So let's just pop that over the top like that. Okay, so you can you can layer them in lots of different ways. So let's get that cleaned off. Ooh. I wish you could see my desk. It is a disaster. A disaster, a disaster. But that is the benefit of having the camera where it is because it means that you can't see all of the stuff. But maybe if I just tilt it a little bit, you might be able to see more stuff. Look, I don't know. It's just everywhere. There we go. We'll keep it on the on the pretty images. Right. So what I am going to do is I'm going to use. Oh no, I don't think you could actually see anything. I am going to just use the little flowers on my piece of card here. Hi Gillian, thanks for, for joining us today. And I'm going to go kind of quite monochrome. So we are going to go. Ooh, my iPad slipping. We are going to go with this Rococo Rose. So we're going to have lots of little flowers. And when you are making like a background paper, make sure you go off the edges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Hooray. So I need to whoa, clean these as I go because I'm going to have different... sizes but use the same colour. Hi Gillian, hi Sarah, thank you for joining us today.
through. If you do as I have just done, which is misstamped, the benefit of having photopolymer stamps, you can go back and restamp it. Okay. Right, so I am now just going to do a few of the littlest flower in Night of Navy and it's just such a punch of the dark colour. this point where you really can't decide where you want to put another stamp that is the time at which you need to stop because the next stamp that you put down will be one too many so I am going to use these tiny dots now and put them in the centers and some of these I'm actually going to put rhinestones in the center when I finished or like I said those pearls I'm also going to use these dots as well now let's see <coughs> So where I've got these here, where I've stamped them when I started out, the great thing about doing this is I can actually now see whether that will work on those um, stamps just there. And the answer is it will. Um, it will fill it up quite a lot, but I quite like that. adds a bit of interest. Hello Nicola, lovely to see you. Um, Karen's asking the thank you sentiment, it's from Peaceful Moments. This one. It's from Peaceful Moments. Okay, right, so what we are going to do now is bring in a little bit of the patterned paper. So I'm going to flip this around and decide which way around we're going to go with this. So I'm going to stick with the monochrome but I'm going to put in a little strip of Knight of Navy. Hmm. Ooh, I don't know now. Let me get my trimmer. So I don't have any Knight of Navy ribbon so I'm just going to use a strip of card a thinner strip of card <laughs> that's too thick that was half an inch I'm going to go for a quarter of an inch um, and this is a great way of just adding a little additional dimension to your project right so let's get that thank you again 
famous last word. Look, I'm staying my hands already. I'm crafting for a whole 10 minutes. Right. I am just going to double check right I'm just gonna plug my charger into my phone a second it's telling me I'm running out of battery which wouldn't be good if I disappeared part way through okay so let's just Get that thank you on. So that's for there. Let's attach that one. To the Rococo Rose. And then I'm just going to play with this just for a second before I stick it down to see where we're going to go with it and I think I might go right smack in the middle I think that thank you might be too busy but we will see it's not the thank you the um, bow get these flowers out and see which ones we want to use oh maybe so I don't want the leaves this time What do we think? I knew I should have brought those rhinestones with me. I think we might go with these. Oh, I don't know. Do you like the blue flowers or the Rococo rose flowers? Part of me is thinking that we need to go navy flowers. So let's let's <laughs> let's do this by let's do this <laughs> by group. So hang on, let me move the bow. So we've got navy flowers. Or we've got Rococo rose flowers. And bow. Or no bow. I love it. I love it. You know why? Because what colour would Amanda always put on a card? So I would always go navy 
I would always go blue. If there's a choice between blue and another colour, I would always, always go blue. Um, which is why I'm asking you, because that's my default setting. Actually, ooh, I could add. Interesting. Okay. Right, so let's see. So... Oh, Nicola, that's a different option. Okay. So for blue, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for blue. And one, two, three for rose. So the blue flowers win and ooh, no bow no bow no bow two for a bow and three for no bow and chris is saying sponge the edge of the sentiment yep i could do that but i haven't brought my sponges with me and then nicola said one of each. I don't think that's what she meant. I think what she meant was that. So, what do we think? One of each. Oh, that's another yes to the bow. I'm actually wondering whether the bow comes a bit further down. What do we think? Right, so we've got lots of one of each flower. Oh, one flower and a bow. Do you mean like that, Pat? saying bow in the top right corner do you mean like that or do you mean up here or should the bow go there no the bow can't go there see i think the bow can go at the bottom but not Oh, but not with the flower. So I think <laughs> this is hard, isn't it? The thing is, when you're making your card yourself, you're just you're just making your card. Or when you're doing it with a group of people, it's very different. I think that flower's too big anyway. Right, we've got take the sentiment down a bit further. Da da da, like that. So, what did I do with my original one? So this one is the bottom two thirds. So it can go there with the bow. Oh dear, 
yeah this is hard this is hard so I think what I really ought to do is make a decision and actually I think my decision is going to be no bow and we are going to go navy flowers But what I need to do is die cut this in Rococo Rose. So, um, I'll sh I don't have that actually. So, um, so it's obviously, it, it will then go there. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put that one on there, that one on there. Uh, too big so we'll go with that one I think that's too big oh no mm, yeah it's too big for there really oh I'm there. I do think I'm there. Quick! Stick it all down before anyone notices. I'm just closing my ink pads up. Because I know you guys will have things that you need to do today. So, <laughs> right. We are going to go with that. So let's. I've stuck that down already, ahead of myself, put this one down, so I'm going to go there, let's try and make it square, that would be a good plan, scissors, So let's pop that down there like so. Just going to pop these that flower center in. And like I said, this will have one of those pearls. So um I always put pictures of the completed cards. They'll be on my blog, but they'll also be here on Facebook as well. So um, you will see those tomorrow. So it isn't quite finished. So don't worry too much. Okay, I did it. <laughs> and I'm sorry if I didn't pick your interpretation of the card. But that just shows you how many interpretations there can be. And actually how tricky it is when you ask people for their opinion, how many different opinions you can get in the space of 30 seconds. Right, let me move all of my rubbish out and leave those there, hopefully. So I'm pushing everything to the edge. I'm hoping that it's not all going to fall off.
just like that crash there you go it'll be fine <laughs> it's all good it's all good so this one is gonna have a few more sparkles on it um, I think this one will have sparkles on on the edges um, but the bundle itself is amazing so the dies are called pierced bloom dies and the stamp set is called I don't know what it's called in bloom it coordinates with the celebration paper of the same name in bloom and I didn't mention it before but there is actually a typing error it says on the uh, celebration catalog it says i'm just rootling for the catalog it says it coordinates with the pretty perennials bundle it doesn't <laughs> it coordinates with the in bloom bundle which is this one which is the one i've been showing you um so don't follow that you don't want to get that one and um, you want the in bloom bundle um I would love to talk to you about joining my team. Uh, this is such a great time to uh, join. You getting so many extra goodies, but more importantly, it's the best decision I ever made. And I'm sure it will be up there with the, one of the best decisions that you've made. I happy i'm i'm happy to talk on the phone or answer questions via email and so on so whatever works for you i will be back here tomorrow i know wednesday i'll be back here tomorrow at two o'clock i will be looking at um the gold leafing embellishment so we're going to be playing with that with heat and stick there'll be all sorts of different products to show you as well from a different product suite um so that will be tomorrow at two this replay will be available obviously here on facebook but it will also be on youtube so if you're joining me on the replay either on youtube or on my blog thank you so much do subscribe to both my blog and instagram and facebook and youtube i can be found in all of the places under inspiring and kim i will be back tomorrow so take care until then and i'll see you soon all right goodbye